Hi there, this is Eric for Otoy. In this video we're going to talk about working with the daylight system to light uh, a scene using Octane 308 for Maya 2018. So I'm using the Space Gas Station 01 scene. First thing I like to do is make sure that my gamma correction is turned off for the viewport so it doesn't interfere with my Octane render. So I'm going to turn this button off and I'm going to set my renderer to Octane Render. It's going to show a fairly dark scene. We just have the lights on the machinery here and the robot lighting the scene. So let's go into the render settings and I'm going to click on the environment menu and choose create new. This of course creates a white texture environment that's evenly lighting the scene. So in the attribute editor for the Octane Sun Sky One node, which is created when I add that environment to the scene, I'm going to set the type to daylight environment and if we take a look under the daylight environment settings, many of these settings, which we covered in the video on the sun direction lighting system, also apply to daylight system. Uh, but obviously the first thing I need to do is set the daylight type to daylight system. And you'll see that the quality of the light does change. Uh, I personally prefer this because I like the way that the lighting looks in this scene. But again, we can adjust to things like the turbidity, to get more of a kind of a hazy kind of look and softer shadows or I'll bring it down for sharper shadows and of course we can adjust the power to make it brighter or dimmer and so on so many of these settings still apply uh, I'm going to go down to the daylight system settings which are below the sun direction and these will allow you to change the position of the sunlight in the sky and they allow you to specify a particular time of day as well as a position on the Earth using longitude and latitude. So if I start to move the hour slider higher, I go from you know, mid-afternoon to later at night to in the middle of the night. If I go over here, of course, I'm starting in the middle of the night and then I'm starting to go towards sunrise. So I always like to pick something like kind of like a magic hour kind of lighting. And, of course, we can adjust the uh, north offset, which will allow us to change the position of the light in the sky without changing the time of day. So if you want to position those shadows in a different direction, you can use north offset. Get the sun visible over there. And we also have longitude and latitude if you're trying to match the position on the Earth. Of course, this is going to change you know, where the sun, ri sun lies in the sky because we're literally changing our position on uh, the round planet Earth. So, let's set this back to this default. And then of course we can even match a particular month of the year and a particular day of that month. We also have a GMT offset which is kind of like adjusting the longitude and latitude has kind of a similar effect. And as I mentioned before, many of these other settings that apply to the sun direction also apply to the daylight system. So you can review that video if you want to remember what these settings do. And thanks again for watching.